Euro Football Weekly is brought to you by Coral. Welcome to Euro Football Weekly. I'm Natalie Rydstrom. I'm joined today by our guest Barry from PremiershipTips.com, and we're going to be previewing some of the biggest matches in European club football. Barry, thanks for being back. Hi, Natalie. Now, before we start, I've got to ask, you write an article for PremiershipTips.com every week. Uh, it's called 10 Interesting Stats from Premier League Match Day uh, and then the number. Now, where do you get all those facts from? Uh, following football and, of course, up to sports, they provide uh, lots of good, interesting stats um, and the rest is researched on my own, really. Yeah, yeah I, I do actually find them really interesting and I often kind of like repost or retweet it or something. So. Keep, keep, keep them coming. Will do, thanks. <laughs> okay, now we're previewing two Premiership matches this week, uh, so let's get started. Uh, first Premier League match is West Brom versus Swansea, um, which is last match on Saturday the 9th, playing at the Hawthorns. Home team West Brom have won two of their last five Premier League matchups and come from a loss 1 0 against fourth place Chelsea. Now, although the score was very close, Chelsea did dominate the match and should really have had more goals in that, I thought. Uh, the Swans, they come from a win against 15th position Newcastle, which was a double win over Newcastle this season, having beaten them again 2-1 uh, away at St. James Park in November. Now, both teams have 40 points, so they're going to be battling it out for a win. Home team are the favourites in this match. Uh, Betfair have the odds, uh, I found, at 2.4 to win. Barry, what do you like? Here. I actually like the away team in this one. Uh, West Brom didn't greatly threaten Chelsea last week at all, and as you said, Ben Foster was kept extremely busy, and Chelsea were lucky at, or unfortunate to have only scored one in that game. Uh, for West Brom, Lukaku is back this week, their top scorer. Of course, he couldn't play against his parent club, Chelsea, so that does add a threat going forward, although the midfield have created little of late. Uh, their home record, in fact, West Brom, it looks good this season, except that they've lost two of their last four at home, so they're pretty struggling. The form is uh, certainly dipping of, of late. Uh, when these two met at the Liberty Stadium earlier this season, Swansea were comfortable 3-1 winners, and they played West Brom off the park. Uh, they dominated possession and passed their way around them. Uh, whilst I don't expect them to completely dominate this game, I do expect Swans Swansea to get the result. Um, their, their road record of late is pretty terrible, in fact, but without a single goal in the last four away games. But at home they won last week and the week before they won in the cup final. So they're confident, they're playing very well. Um, Miku, Miku is scoring again, he's on 15 for the season. And I like their threat down the wings with Wayne Routledge and Nathan Dyer. Their pace should, pace should, should cause West Brom a lot of problems at fullback. So I'm going for Swansea. Uh, Swansea win or draw you can get for around 1.67. For Swansea to win you can get 3.2, which is... is Good value for this game. Yeah, Barry, do you know I agree with you? Uh, you know, Swansea in their last three head to heads against West Brom have won every time. You know, going back to 2011, they won 3 0, then 2 1, then 3 1, you know, both home and away. So, yes, I'm going for a Swansea win on this. Yep, I couldn't agree more. All right, Barry, thanks for joining us. Thanks.